Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from ModelBuilderInternational.com with another update on the uh, Kazon Torpedo, which we haven't worked on in a while because you all know we were on vacation and doing this and doing that and working. Uh, I don't know what else to say except uh, let's get over to this this little build here and uh, do some work. There's all sorts of nonsense over there and a shaky camera because nobody's here to help me. Anyway, no. see that little gizmo there? The wife actually was uh, a little tired of the table being in disarray, so she went out and bought me this guy where I can have all my LEDs labeled and all the extra stuff. I actually need one more for more LEDs just to keep everything in order and she was sick and tired of the tools being all over the place so she got me a little uh, handy dandy tool rack oh I guess yeah storage container this way everything's not all over the place but anyway enough about that and let's get on to this guy over here okay and we'll get some get you in focus there okay we're gonna be working on the the had the side halves of the torpedo now what I'm working on now is right here is where the thrusters are supposed to go and on the original piece there's a little um, peg here to put the nose cone of the thruster on there and that would go on there and this is this is solid, which I don't like. I wanna light them up. If there's engines, they should be lit up. So what I did on this guy, as you can see, I bored out the, the, the piece that was there and I cut the nub off over here to make this fit better. This is gonna go, my big mitts are in the way, but it's gonna go on right there. Now with, uh, with what I want to do, I want to put an amber light in there. And uh, I had an amber light sitting here somewhere on my desk. And see what happens when you start putting things in order? Things start to get lost or cats knock it down. And there we go. I found it. So, what I want to do is I want to put this guy, let's see, let's light him up. The amber light. Watch me touch the leads together and, and mess everything up. Okay, ah, I'm off camera. Okay. I gotta stop saying okay. And I gotta get on camera. But anyway, this is uh, this is what I want to do with it. But as you can see, if we just throw the LED in there, and then even with the nose cone, you're gonna see the light. And I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. So what I did is, like I told you before, if you order parts, if you order lighting kits from Voodoo Effects, he sends you a sheet of diffusion with it, which I keep forgetting to email Randy and see what that is or if he sells it on the side or if he'll be kind enough to let us know where we can get it and what type of material it is. But what I did was I took the, uh, the one hole punch, I punched another piece out because I don't know where the original piece was. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put put the diffusion piece in front of the hole right there. Now it's not gonna stay, but you get the idea right there. This way we're not gonna see the, um, the LED light. And then we'll put the nose cone 
back on it in front of it. Now, when you take the one hole punch, the piece is gonna be too small. Uh, I mean, too big, I'm sorry. And it's gonna be, uh, have to be sanded or cut. And I don't think it's gonna be able to be sanded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this little piece here, get it down to shape and we'll put it on there and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and I got the, um, the diffusion on there. I first tried it with Tamiya thin cement, which uh, wouldn't hold it at all. It just kept falling off, falling off. So I went with CA and uh, super glued that bad boy right on there with no problem at all. Now I had to cut two parts flat. The part going in over there and the bottom part. I'm not too worried. I wanted to keep the round towards the top because you're gonna see the top more and uh, the bottom is uh, cut flat but that's okay because I'm gonna put the other piece on here and I still have to putty around it and get that all clean and nice and redo the lines anyhow. So things are, things are coming along here. A little bit at a time I'm gonna try to do you know an hour here an hour there when I got time actually the wife and son aren't here this week so we'll try to get as much as I can done I want to get these lights done so we could seal it all up and and start painting and now with the diffusion in there it looks much much better than uh, and then just the, the glowing light in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pop the other piece on because I don't wanna bore you guys with glowing and then we'll see how how the thruster looks from there. And then I gotta bore out the, uh, the hole on the other one and do that. So just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, here she is with the uh, diffusion piece. As you can see, it's glowing. And the nose cone is on there. And that's what it's gonna look like inside. Let's see if we can get a better shot without lights on. So that's that's what that bad boy is gonna look like once this paint. The only thing I'm worried about is there is a glow behind it. I don't know if I can get it into focus, but there's a little glow underneath. I'm hoping I can do something to seal that off. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the shape or the glow from the diffusion because I'm going to be putting uh, um, ch -ch Bondo over that because I got to rescribe some of the lines there and then uh, paint it up. So that is what's going to be happening to the other side too and that'll be that'll be done and we'll have both those sides done hopefully by tomorrow and I can get the um, whatchamacallit, I can shut that light off and we can flip me around. Whoa, that's pretty darn close. That's a real close up of my ugly mug for you fellas and ladies out there. Um, like I was saying that, hopefully I'll have those two done by tomorrow. And then uh, I gotta put the fiber optics in the ship itself. And um, then it's pretty much Pretty much ready to be buttoned up. I got to get the base together. I got to order some more stuff from uh, Lou at Aztec Dummy to help me out with the base. And then I'm trying to think what else. I got the engines, the top engines to do, which are going to be the amber color like that with the diffusion and everything. And actually, let me see. I have a question for you all out here. These parts right here, they are ion collectors and. Um, it's kind of like going to be a triangle in here that's supposed to be painted purple. <coughs> Excuse me. And then another color around it. Now, not being too swift on everything because I'm kind of catching up on uh, a lot of stuff. Giving up on the military modeling for now and coming over to the, to the sci-fi world. Ion collectors. Are they lit on ships or are they not lit on ships? I don't know. Uh, the box art shows it purple but it really doesn't show it lit up so if it is lit up or if you guys know if ion collectors are, are lit up on other ships I'll probably light it up and what I'll do is that'll have the purple triangle there on the back of it 
are more, I guess, uh, that's going to be interesting. I got to figure out what color that would be because I'm, I'm thinking these are thrusters and it's not. It's got the same cone as the thruster, but I guess it's uh, like a vent for the ion collectors. And then there's two little, two little bumps up here that could be lit up or not. I'm not sure. If they are, then maybe I'll just uh, I'll cut those out and do that all purple, and then and then uh, I guess the vent. I don't know what color I would I would do that. So a few more, a few more things to worry about, and it'll all be lit up pretty soon. And I always want to make a short video and like five minutes long or something. I bet you this is like eight or nine minutes long. I don't know why it always ends up like that, but it does. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to finish up the other half, so that's done for tomorrow, and then we can get work on the other stuff and uh, hopefully get some more videos rolling. And then, once we're done with this, i got to choose which ship we're going to work on next. i got to stop looking at the viewfinder and look at the lens so I'm talking to you guys instead of looking at myself while I'm talking and I don't look like a moron. But anyway, thank you guys for uh, watching the video. Um, I will try to get another one done tomorrow night because the wife and kid are away and I get to play with no nobody bothering me. So hope you guys come join us at modelbuilderinternational.com. Um, check us out on Facebook and Twitter and all that other stuff. So again, thanks and I will see you all soon. Bye bye. Hey, I didn't shut it off. Look at that. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Take care guys. Bye.